Hey guys, Steve here. Um, I didn't plan that, but I was, I'm going to do a part two to that video on the, uh, the comp frame with the uh, X-Factor chassis. Just to show, ex I, I put out a lot of parts there, and I don't want any confusion on what you get. And this, is, this right here is pretty much what you get. Um, there's your whole, your whole chassis, or your frame, your comp frame. You got multiple spots here that you can put your upper links, which is pretty cool. Um, you get these aluminum high clearance links, four link front and rear, super smooth, man. I mean, just super smooth, everything here. Your bolts are all recessed, all your little screws. I mean, everything's recessed on this. Um, a lot of thought went into this, very, very well designed and your your x-factor chassis it just bolts right on so it bolts on right there right there on the top under here and they're recessed right there and there um right there right there and then on the inside but i don't have any bolts but right right in here on each corner on the inside. I don't have those screwed on yet. It's got to come back off to finish getting electronics and transmission and all that in there. And then, so I don't have all the pieces on here. All right, let's set this bad boy down. You do have this. And that, and I stated earlier, I don't know if I'm going to paint those seats a different color or not. I haven't decided, but those bolt in pretty much like this, right there and right there. So it's going to sit just like that, and they're going to go that bolt, this hole, and this hole. They'll screw in right there and right there. So it'll go just like that, um, and that's going to cover your electronics and whatnot. But I just wanted to kind of show. I, I put a lot of stuff out there in the last video parts that I bought extra and I don't, didn't want any confusion. So here's the rest of the pieces. These little round things I think are a spacer for the shock. Um, there's four of them. I only got one out here just because I don't want to lose it. This part would bolt right or screw down right there if you did not. So you don't have to, you, to run this chassis. If you want just the frame and to run their Lexon body. This right here bolts on there. And then that would that would go right on there. You get the picture. And then you just put a hole in your Lexon and and then this piece goes right into here. And then this piece right onto there and that's your that's your that's your hinge so there you go just like so and that's for your so that lexon body you can use it with or without the x-factor chassis if you opt to use it with the chassis that right there one of these two Maybe it's this one. There you go, it's this one. It just it just puts right in there. And you, you bolt, you screw that down right in there. So I'm, like I said in the other video, at this point, opting not to because I have heard they're coming out with panels to put on here. It'll just screw right into all these little holes and you can have little panels just like it was a a real race truck and that's that's the look I'm gonna go for so but that body's growing on me there's a part of me that wishes I ordered it and maybe I will the body's like 30 bucks so I don't know we'll see I might end up with it but yeah that's it right there just wanted to show you show you guys what you got like I said, this is about a $160 price point, like it sits. 
and uh, yeah, under 100 if you don't want the X-Factor chassis and you just want the comp frame. So and you can take the comp frame and run the Lexon body. So I personally think it's pretty sweet with the X-Factor chassis. So that's that in a nutshell. Like always, if you got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll answer what I can. Um, I'm going to continue to build this thing next time you guys see it here. Um, it'll probably be complete. I think everything I got for this is from little guys racing parts with the exception of the shocks and the wheels. And I'm probably going to order a set of their shocks. Probably should order the wheels too. It'd be pretty cool to have everything from them do it to complete their build. Um, I'm gonna run a Lizard Pro for my ESC and I'm gonna hook it up to the Fly Sky GT5 radio. I got a little micro um, receiver for that. And I'm gonna be running their Creeper motor. And I think at this point, just a stock. Um, just, a, just a stock. Uh, transmission at this point and I did opt to get I did opt to get their um, super eight axles these are just the plastic ones probably go to the billet aluminum at some point but yeah that's where the builds at so far uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'm going to try and continue to come out with more of this crawler stuff. And uh, I got some mini Z stuff. All, pretty much all my, all of my um, remote control car stuff is all the mini and micro stuff. I, um, during COVID, I really got into the little stuff and started selling all my 10th scale. And I really love this stuff. What, what attracted me to the small stuff was the price point and the fact that you can run it in in the house so i mean look, look at it look in there i don't know if you can see it but they got their branding in there the little guy racing parts i think even i don't know on the links you can barely see it on the seats you barely see it there. Just the attention to detail on this, it's really smooth. I mean, this thing went together so easy. So easy. Um, I know somebody's going to complain there's no directions. You don't need directions. To be honest, if, you're, if you don't know where something goes, get on their website and look at their pictures. It's not too hard to figure out. It really isn't. Um, start getting directions. All these little things raise the price of a product. So, and most of us can figure it out. It's really not that hard. We've been tearing apart these things and putting them back together. But man, look at that. Just all these, everything's recessed. Everything just fits so nice. You get these skid plates. Like every, everything you see here, everything you see here is just part of the, part of what you get. Love this love that flat skid man so smooth i cannot wait to have this thing together and running love the fact that it's black don't have to paint anything stainless steel hardware all right man i said it was going to be quick and i'm just rambling so i'm going to let you guys go and uh thanks for watching